The bond is getting stronger between these two. And with the Bishop Lures football team looking to make a statement entering divisional play, quarterback Cohen McKenzie connected with receiver Isaac Zay for seven receptions and a career-high 132 yards with two touchdowns in the 24-21 win this past Friday at Wayne, earning Zay Summit City Sports Player of the Week. Coming out party for him for this year. And he was doing a lot of things Friday night that he did last year in the playoffs. This isn't new for him, but for uh, this team and this season, um, it was nice to see him come out and, uh, you know, Cohen developing that relationship, that rapport with him. Well, Zay came in being a primary receiver, you know, sophomore year he got through at safety, big opportunity, play varsity, and it's just what we needed him to do to win. Now that he's actually getting an opportunity to show that he's a threat on both sides of the ball, it was only time for him to show up. We really all had that connection since freshman year. It was just, he was getting double covered a lot for the first three weeks. You know, I see when we have a one-on-one -on -one matchup, we were talking at halftime, it was like, it's one-on-one, -on -one, just give him the ball. It's 50-50 ball, I like my chances. And we knew fade balls and pitches were gonna work, and that's what we accomplished on. It's taking a little bit of time, but uh, I feel like the, the two are dialed in right now. Um, and I'm really excited to see what they, they can do here on out. 11th year head coach Kyle Lindsey had enough confidence in his duo to call a home run ball on fourth and 18, giving the Knights the 14-7 lead in the third quarter. Fun fact, our center, Tristan Wilkins, actually said he called for the field goal and he was like, he was like, no coach, no coach, we're going for it. So when I heard that, I'm like, we have to put it in the end zone now. Yeah, he's a big frame, he knows how to use his body well. And going through the play, it was just take the safety to one side field, just come back to him, because I knew he was going to win. You have to have faith in your players and know that they're going to win. I wasn't, I wasn't really thinking about the down, I would just know I kept, he throw the ball, I catch it. So that's really all it was. And he did. On the defensive side, Zay has been starting at safety since his sophomore year, and this season ranks third on the team with 19 tackles. Leading the team in tackles is Damian Jackson with 27, including five tackles for a loss, three sacks, and a blocked field goal. Lures held Wayne to just 28 yards rushing. That's 1.2 yards per carry, the general's lowest output on the season. Oh, they were flying all over the place. Uh, you know, from the opening kickoff, D. Hoag, uh, sophomore safety, playing next to Isaac. Uh, he made a nice big hit on the opening kickoff, and then the very next play, Wayne's first uh, offensive play, um, he came down from a safety spot and knocked the running back at the line of scrimmage, forced a fumble. Two plays later, we took a lead, and uh, when you look at it, when it's all said and done, you look at the, the score, 24-21, you know, that was the difference right there. Uh, but no, the defense, we're really proud of the defensive effort. Um, they've gotten better. We, we felt like the defense would be a bit ahead of the offense. It was a lot of, a lot of talking going on, whether it was their players uh, or, you know, social media. And we try to, like, not be too distracted by that. We try to focus on our game plan. And uh, at the end of the day, when we won, it was just finally, like, get to show them how we play football. And, like, the first two games really don't define us. Everybody started counting us out, saying we're a bad Bishop Lures team, this, this, and that. I feel like the last two games, especially the Wayne game, proved to them that we're still here and we can play Bishop Lures football. You know, the Achilles Hill has been uh, uh, just giving up some big plays. Um, last week, uh, you know, we gave up 21 points. We gave up a, a kick return for a touchdown. Uh, usually when that happens, you don't win ball games. And after the Knights opened up the season with back-to-back -back losses to East Noble and New Haven, being outscored 81-14, to many outsiders were doubting this Lures team and its seniors. Senior year is supposed to be go big, go home, you know? And uh, I kind of, even though stats might say otherwise, I feel like I had a pretty bad game. So I was just frustrated. I ended up crying on the sideline. It was just like, I, that's not how I want to go out my senior year. Then the offense started rolling these past couple weeks, which really gave more confidence in the defense, and we're playing well as a whole right now. And that's, that's really all it was, getting the confidence in the offense to help us all play good. So now the Knights are in the driver's seat in the SACB division and have a realistic shot of winning a conference title. But they'll first take on a winless Concordia team that has been lighting it up through the air, averaging 302 yards per game bringing with them cadet receiver Avery Cook, who has 590 yards receiving with eight touchdowns. 
when we're not taking them slight, we've seen they score, they, you know, they're capable of scoring the ball. So we're not looking at this game like an easy blow off. We're preparing like we would any other game. Um, they get the ball out quick, but I still plan on having a few. We just need to play our game and stay true to what we do best. Fly around the ball, make plays. Our defense has play, been playing great this year, giving the offense a lot of opportunities to score. We just have to get better as the week pro progresses. We don't need to worry about who the opponent is. We just need to play worse football. After the New Haven game, week two was, hey, we're in conference, we're 0-0. This week, hey, got a chance to go 3-0, um, take an early lead in the, in the division. Um, you're not gonna win an SAC championship without winning your division. When you know that there's still something, uh, a championship to play for during the regular season, that makes it a heck of a lot more fun. And, um, it adds a little extra motivation. So uh, our goal is to go 3-0 in conference play this week and, um, and to put on a, a strong performance in front of a homecoming crowd that um, is probably a little bit re-energized after the last couple weeks. Set on, set on, set on, set on. Right, 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 for Summit City Sports, I'm Jeff Mahoney. Masters Heating and Cooling presents today's Football Player of the Week. Make Masters your only call for all your heating and cooling needs because Masters gets there faster. Call 866-824-HEAT or log on to mastersheatcool.com when you need them.